Hi everybody, so it's Chris Croft and Dean Carroll here and uh, we're picking another tip from Dean's book this week. Another really important one actually, which is don't be afraid to say no. And I, this is the one I think I'm most guilty of. Actually, mm -hmm. I struggle, I struggle with saying no. I do too. Um, it's, I don't even know why, because it's not even that I'm nice. I think it, <laughs> I think it's ego or something. I, I remember once somebody wanted me to do a training course and and I had to say no because I couldn't make the date. I was doing something else. And I said, I'm really, really sorry. I can't make the date. I can't do your course. And they went, okay, fine. We got somebody else. Right. And I was like, what? You're supposed <laughs> to be gutted. You can't get me. And, and I realized then that people often don't even care whether you say no. But I don't know what it is, but I do find saying no really difficult. And I read somewhere that every time you say yes to something you don't really want to do, you're actually saying no to everything else in the yeah. world. Mm -hmm. So if you don't say no to going to see someone who you don't really like, but you're going to go and have a big, long meeting with them, or, or if no. you don't say no to a, a job that is not going to pay very well or whatever, that time has now been used, and you could have used that time for everything yeah. else in the world. You could have been helping the homeless. You could have been learning to play the flute. Right. You could have been doing some exercise, visiting your mum, spending it with your kids. Um, you know, just a million things, planning new products, but no, you've decided to spend it on that customer who doesn't appreciate you or that friend who you don't really like or whatever. So I think saying no is really, really important. Are you good at it? Uh, early on, I was not. I think all of us early in our careers, if we're afraid to say no, yeah. because if we don't, if we don't say yes, we're going to miss out or we're not participating or not seem to somebody who wants to be involved with a project. And salespeople always want to be liked. We always well. want to so be liked. So I got to say, I always got to say yes. Yeah. If you say yes, you're making a commitment. And that's a big thing with me. You have to honor your commitments. So if you're saying yes, you're honoring your commitments. You have to learn to mm -hmm. say no because you can't do everything. And you have to be, it goes back to what we talked about a couple of weeks ago about prioritization. You know, you have to prioritize mm. things and say no sometimes. Easier said than done. I mean, I used to check off the box all the time. I can do that. I can do that. But remember, if you're saying that, mm. you're making a commitment. But saying no isn't failing to honor your commitments, is it? I mean, saying yes and not doing it, now that's, that's bad. bad. Right. But just to say, no, I'm afraid I can't, I just yeah. can't do that. I've got yeah. too many things on that week or whatever. That's fine. That's being it? honest. It's, it does <laughs> feel as if you're letting the other person yeah. down, though. Uh, but I do think people care less about us than we realize. Yeah. And I think if we say no, they just find somebody else. And, yeah. and, you know, to us, it's a big deal. But to them, maybe it isn't. A lot of good people out there who can do the job in your organization or outside of the company. And uh, there are yeah. many people who will be able to say yes and fulfill the commitment. I wonder if it is age related, though, because I think I, I saw somewhere that people get happier from the age of about 45 onwards, they get happier and the peak happiness was about 70. So we're nearly there. But anyway, and <laughs> I, I think it could be that as you get older, you realize that you've got less time left and you want to use it on things you want to use it on. And I think you get a bit more assertive about your time right. because you value it more because it's running out and you start to say no more than you used to. Yeah. And for me, it all started when I was about 35 and I suddenly realized that my life had been soaked up by, you know, 10 people all taking 10% of my time. And suddenly you think, hang on a minute, I've got nothing left at all. And I'm going to have to push back against the world. It's almost like a battle between you and the world. Because all everyone wants a piece of you, even though mm. it's a small piece. And before long, you know, there's nothing left to, for you to spend it on the things you want to spend it on. So I think it takes a while before you realise that time is the most precious resource. It's also the eye-opening thing. If you say yes to everything, you're not going to do a great job with everything. And you have that's a, a good realization yes. that I'm not good at everything. It's, I have to say no. I'm just not good enough at that. I can't do that coaching job or I can't do that type of training you do. So mm. I have to say no and, and say yes to the right things. Yeah, yeah. If you're self-employed, it's hard to say mm. no to customers. Right. If you've got a boss, it's hard to say no. Right. Um, and in your personal life, Difficult to say no, but in all of those situations, it is really important. It is. So yeah. I'm really glad you picked that one. If I was doing a you know, top 100 book, I'd put that one in there. I can't now because you've already done it, but that absolutely should be in there. Don't be afraid about saying no.